Good day, class. Since we're done understanding the definition of software engineering in our second week, we need to dig in into the foundation of software engineering, which is the process. We learned as well that a process is a collection of work activities, actions, and tasks that are performed when some work product is to be created. We have also identified a generic process framework that applied to all kinds of software application domains. We also stated in our last discussion that a good software engineering practice entails that the software development teams become creative in carrying out the software development processes, meaning the teams are given a freedom to identify activities actions or tasks that are appropriate to the nature of the project and also the people involved in the project. Class, I would like you to take note of how each process model emphasizes the activities and defines a process flow that invokes each framework activity in a different manner. Today, we are going to talk about process models. Process models that are present in any software development companies and how these models can help us in the process in creating a quality-based software. History has indicated that these models have brought a certain amount of useful structure to software engineering work and have provided a reasonable effective roadmap for software teams. I have been consulting and managing some software development teams in the past, and I have realized that without a process models or workflows, everything is impossible to achieve. So for this topic, there are five models that I'm going to present to you today. Each of these models have unique characteristics that make them appropriate for certain types of projects.